Um, do you have any prevention tips? We talked a lot about being proactive and kind of prevention. So number one, preventing IPs on your own account, um, not using certain people's marks, right? Of course, that's obvious. Um, what about images? Mm, images. <laughs> Yeah. So this, you know, I want to tell you this, things are getting really interesting with AI and mm -hmm. the ability to generate images that are probably not subject to any type of its own copyright protection. Right. So my suggestion would be to, you know, be very careful, obviously, if you are, first of all, don't copy someone's image, right? I would be really careful about copying clip, clip art off of Canva, for example. And I think a lot of people might do that, but that could be subject to someone's copyright. The challenging thing about copyright versus trademark is it's really difficult to go just search the database to find out if an entity has copyright protection on something. Now, if it's a unique design, um, you, I, I would, pr I would presume that it's subject to copyright protection. Um, in terms of your Oh, something being kind of your own copyright. If if you create something and you're like, oh, I want, I created this really cool design and I want to be able to enforce it if someone copies it, then I strongly suggest getting it registered with the copyright office. And that's copyright.gov. I think it's it's not super expensive to, to get it registered. Um, it doesn't go through quite the examination process that a trademark does. And my understanding is that Amazon's pretty like responsive to copyright claims when you have a registered copyright. So if you want to do any type of enforcement of your own copyright, get it registered. Um, now, kind of back to the, your, you know, stepping into the other shoes as, you know, taking some someone else's images. You know, it, I, heard, I used to hear this thing. People would say, well, if I take some clip art and I change it seven times, is that good enough? Well, there really, <laughs> there really is no, there's no, no black and white here, right? It's all, there's so much gray area with respect to copyright law and, and even trademark law for that matter. But, um, you know, my suggestion would be just don't, don't take anything, don't like, I know that it's so easy to take a screenshot of something, right? Someone's t-shirt design and slapping on yours. Just don't do that because you, <laughs> you very well could get a takedown uh, demand from Amazon or from the brand, the brand owner slash copyright owner. Um, if you are, I would suggest creating your own stuff. Like I know that a lot of people are doing really cool, you know, fonts and things like that. It's super easy to create your own designs in Canva and it'd be fairly unique and cute. Um, if you are using one of those platforms that say that will actually like send you the design file, just, I would say, make sure that you do own the rights. Well, I'm sorry. You wouldn't actually own the rights to it, but make sure that it would be available for you to use for commercial purposes. And of course, that would have to be kind of in the terms of service with that particular platform that sells those digital images.